Hi guys, NCWQ here, and as you can see, we have an article in front of us. North Carolina Outer Bank Seafloor is Bubbling Methane Gas. And this is the article, and you will find it underneath the video. And there is a uh, video along with it. And this here is a hydrate bearing sediments map. And this here is data that was acquired in 2018. Anyway, oops, this is North Carolina here, and this is the seafloor area out here. And the article goes on to state, sea, deep sea explorers investigating a spot 39 miles off of North Carolina's Outer Banks say they have encountered a surreal stretch of seafloor filled with geyser-like bubbling plumes, some of them continuous and others turning off and on over periods of less than a minute. In some spots, the bubble plumes are plentiful enough to resemble fluorescent lace curtains and the glow of a camera deployed by NOAA Ocean Exploration and Research. Adding to the spectacle, the bubbles rise amid dense beds of mussels that are seen in a video stretching as far as the camera lens could penetrate. The bubbles are methane gas seeping constantly from the seafloor off the Bodie Island at a depth of about 1,300 feet, according to a report by the NOAA-backed team. Evidence of a seep field off the island was first detected on sonar in 2012, but the expedition this month marked the first time visual proof was established that the seeps remain active and plentiful, officials said. These methane seeps are never before have never before been visited, and scientists were excited to watch as a camera made new discoveries during its progress up the ridge, noted a report by marine and geology experts. Among the surprises was an abundance of sea life in the extreme environment, including spider crabs, quill worms, sea stars, anemones, and several fish species, the report said. Cold seeps like this one off Bodie Island occur at sites on the ocean floor where fluids like methane and sulfides escape from the seafloor, according to NOAA. Similar seeps are found throughout the ocean, including off South Carolina's coast, NOAA says. However, the gases are not considered a danger to the nearby banks or to boaters who frequent the waters above the seeps, according to Carolyn Rupel, chief scientist for the U.S. Geological Survey Gas Hydrates Project. The methane from these seeps does not reach the surface of the ocean, she told McClatchy newspapers. Methane emitted from the seafloor at more than, more than about 300 feet water depths dissolves in the surrounding ocean, and the methane never reaches the sea surface in bubbles. The Bodie Island seeps are much deeper than 300 feet. Carbon dioxide is what reaches the surface. The methane may also slightly affect the acidity of the water, she said. Among the things scientists are continuing to study off the East Coast is interaction between seep areas and sea life. Anecdotal evidence suggests there is more life in such areas, particularly when it comes to crustaceans and the things they, they prey on them, Ruppel says. On the U.S. Pacific margin, hot fishing zones have been shown to correlate with seafloor methane seeps in some locations. Anyway, it was an interesting article. Um, I'm not going to show the video. The video is in the article, and it'll be listed below my video. Anyways, you guys, have a great day or night wherever you are in the world, and please be safe. Much love.